I have a really distinct memory. Pretty much like the first time I visited New York in college, I went. I was living here in early 90s. I'd actually come and sit in that courtyard, and it was quite beautiful because they changed out the art down there. Found some time to actually make it to the MoMA and spent, I don't know, three, four hours in there. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I was, oh, 12, 13. I came from California with uh, my dad and my sister, and a big Picasso exhibition was on. Welcome um, and welcome back for many of you. This is always a, such a great meeting and it's always great to see that so many people like to come back and, and take our invitation for this meeting. It tells us a lot about what we're doing and how much you believe in it. The thing that always comes up when we're talking about uh, curating the show is this sense that you're also creating a capsule of advertising work and that is you know, kind of lodged in MoMA and is accessed and referenced and there's a sense of being kind of in the moment. If you see it for the first time and you're blown away by it, that's great, but maybe what's a sign of excellence is if you can see it multiple times and it still resonates. That's the thing, it's, it's filmmaking, right, and it's creating that emotion and to be able to do that and affect somebody that way in a commercial is pretty amazing and not easy to do. At the end of the day, it affects you in such a way that you're thinking about it hours later. That feels like a win, you know what I mean? If I'm not drawn in or I'm daydreaming about something else, what's the point? If people are coming to the museum, I want people to be moved just as you would going to hopefully any art exhibit, especially the moment.